Assalamu alaikum. Honorable ministers, members of parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. First of all, I would like to thank all the presenters before me for all the information they have shared, mostly about 5G, much about 4G as well. I hope by now the technology, both behind 4G as well as 5G, has become quite clear to you, so I will not discuss the technology too much. I, I want to start off by telling you a little bad habit of mine. And I will explain why this relates to today's event. You see, as you all know, I am a techie, what we call a techie. I like technology. I like playing with technology all the time. And so the bad habit that I have is that whenever there is a new technology, I want it. Whenever the latest model comes out, I want it. Whenever there is a new phone, every year I buy a new phone, even though there really is no need. It's, they might have improved, Samsung has improved something slightly here, or it has a new camera, it has a new processor, slightly bigger screen. I want it. That is the nature of a techie. And that is why today, even though we have recently launched 4G in Bangladesh, we are already talking about 5G. 5G is the, 4G is what we have launched in Bangladesh. It is what we have today. It is already a reality. And for that, I would like to thank the telcos for their very, very quick deployment. But 5G is the new technology that is around the corner. And there is that techie part of me, that techie side of me, that already wants it. So this is why we are not just talking about 4G, but Bangladesh today, we are already starting the conversation about 5G. But in order to see the future, let us think about where we have come from. Many of you have already forgotten where Bangladesh was nine years ago when our Awamili government first came to power. It is almost 10 years now. 10 years ago, when we came to power, when we ran for the elections with the promise of digital Bangladesh and Vision 2021, Bangladesh technologically was one of the most backward countries in the world. In terms of telecommunications infrastructure, Bangladesh was perhaps the most backward country in the world. We had very limited uh, mobile coverage. Uh, broadband, there was no such thing as broadband to speak of. We were dependent on 2G networks and outside of the cities, you did not even have 2G. You basically were still using 1G, which was three generations old. Today, uh, one of the most frequent complaints I hear, especially from the youth, is about the price of internet. But they forget, many of them are too young to remember, 10 years ago, a one megabit connection where you could get it cost over $1,000 a month. It was the most expensive in the world. And where are we today? Today, Bangladesh has made one of the fastest deployments of technology, telecommunications technology, in the world. Very, very few countries, to my knowledge, no other country has gone from having just 1G and 2G to 4G within six years. No other country has been able to deploy so rapidly. And again, I would really like to thank all our telcos, I see, uh, of course, our host today, Roby. I see the CEO of Grameen Phone. Um, I would like to thank you for your extremely, extremely rapid deployment of 4G. Even when we deployed 3G five years ago, the deployment was slow and gradual. 
It took time to get 3G coverage throughout the cities. It took even more time to get 3G coverage out to the district headquarters and then to the Upazilas. But today, we launched 4G in February. That is just a few months ago, just four months ago. And by July, we already have coverage down to the Upazilla levels in 4G. Today, internet in Bangladesh is one of the cheapest in the world. One of the cheapest. Of course, as you've heard from GSMA and the mobile operators and Huawei, uh, that is also their complaint, that the customer revenue in Bangladesh is one of the lowest in the world. Of course, that is good for the consumers of Bangladesh. But today, internet in Bangladesh is one of the cheapest in the world. And that has all happened because of our planning, because of the planning and the policies of the government of Bangladesh, of the Awami League government of Bangladesh. Without our Awami League government, none of this would have happened. And in particular, this was my push. I was determined, 10 years ago, I told our regulator at the time, I told our ministries at the time that we have to reduce the price of internet by more than 99% and their jaws dropped. They said, that is impossible. How is that possible? And I said, not only is it possible, we have to do it. And we cannot do it someday. We have to do it within five years, within one term. That was my goal. And I'm very proud to say we did it. I was extremely proud of the 3G launch. That was one of our Awamali government's promises in our last term that we would bring in 3G technology to Bangladesh. No one could have imagined that. No one could have imagined that while driving through Bangladesh, while traveling through Bangladesh, you would have broadband on your mobile phone. You would have broadband on your laptops, mobile broadband. This was impossible for people to imagine. And I had promised then that if people vote for the Obama League again in the last election, that we would bring in 4G in our next term, which is this term. We have kept our promise. Today, 4G is not a dream. It is a reality in Bangladesh. And one of, the, one of my main goals one of the pushes, one of my determinations, and one of the pressures I have kept, both on our regulator and on our operators, is that we have to ensure quality 4G, quality service. That means that the broadband speeds must be sufficient. They must be good quality. It cannot just be broadband in name only. It cannot just the, the, the latency uh, delays and uh, coverage, as you've heard from the CEO of Robi Matabai, that I relentlessly push them that coverage must be good. You cannot just give me 4G in a few spots throughout Dhaka. It must be good. And I'm proud to say, I, I, my personal experience has been phenomenal. It has exceeded my expectations. <laughs> One of the points I make while I travel through the country is I'm, again, being a techie, I'm always online. My life is online. Everything I do is online. And it's on my mobile phone. So the, the quality of the internet connection, the availability of the internet connection is very important to me personally. And I'm always using it and I'm always checking what quality of internet am I getting on my mobile phone. And for the first time, when 3G was deployed, while driving through Dhaka, you would get 3G, it would drop to 2G, it would go back to 3G. And I'm very happy to say that within four months, driving through Dhaka, I am consistently getting a 4G connection. It does drop sometimes. Sometimes, in fact, at this particular venue, I am not seeing 4G on my phone, either on Grameen or on Roby's network. It's down to 3.3.5G. But for the most part, for the most part, it rarely drops. It stays in 4G throughout Dhaka city. 
I see everyone's checking their phones now that I mentioned that. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to see you. I, I want to keep you under pressure. I want Bangladesh to relentlessly move forward. You see, when Bangladesh deployed 3G, we were far behind. The rest of the world was deploying 4G. When Bangladesh, we were just only deploying 3G. We finally have caught up. We are deploying 4G. Now, we are five years behind most developed countries, but we are still ahead of many other countries. Today, Bangladesh has caught up to the developed world, at least in terms of telecommunications technology. The speeds will come. The speeds will increase. I believe someday soon, my goal is that someday soon, broadband speeds in Bangladesh will be second to no other country in the world. But with, the, but with 5G, my goal is that we are going to be one of the first countries to deploy 5G in the world. And again, of course, that is my promise to you from the Obama League for our next term. As you all know, we have elections upcoming, end of this year. And this is my promise to you that if you vote for the Obama League once again, in our next term, we will bring 5G to Bangladesh. With that, I have to say that I am, I, I, I have read a lot about 5G over the last couple of years, but I am truly, truly blown away by the speed demonstration that I saw today. I could never have imagined a four gigabit connection on a wireless uh, network. To me, that seemed impossible. Even today, in where I live in Washington, D.C., I have uh, a fiber optic connection to my house uh, from their telecommunications provider there, which is uh, one of the fastest in the world. I get a one gigabit connection, which I consider terrifically fast. My goal is to my goal was to bring that my goal is to bring that to Bangladesh. That in Bangladesh, you will be able to hopefully within the next five years, get a one gigabit connection to your home. That is my goal, over fiber. But to see that this is possible over wireless really amazes me. It amazes even me. And again, as a techie, I can't wait to get my hands on it. <laughs> With that, I would like to thank Huawei for your demonstration here and your 